called The Chariot by Eric Lars Meyer. The rain was coming down heavy. Heavy like all the angels in heaven decided to take a piss at the same time. And Dave was back, but he wasn't the same Dave. He was cool and slick like a Teflon cat. Hey, Dave, it's so good to see you, yeah. Yeah, it's good to be back after yeah. all these years. Yeah, well, welcome. Just, it was just a little surprise to uh, see you. You know, I mean, most people don't come back to the company they interned at, much less come in as management. Yeah, well, what can I say? There's just something about this place that left an impression. Uh, but what about you? You've been here for all these years, never left, huh? Oh, no, no. I guess it did make an impression on me. You know, when we interned together, and it was time to leave, I liked it so much, it just didn't feel right to, you know, get out. I wanted to stay. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, but, oh, I mean, look at you, Rocket Man. I mean, oh, senior account executive. Good for you. Yeah, I'm still accounting specialist. Aye, aye. Aye, aye, Captain. Uh, accounting specialist, too, except with two aye, ayes. Oh, I understand. Huh. This guy was hard to crack, <laughs> hard as a rock. Oh, and you don't have to like my jokes. I don't like them either. I grieve over them like a long winter's evening. But I really just couldn't figure this guy out. So, you worked here all these years. You must uh, know the lay of the land, really know these people. Yeah, I mean, we're friends. They're like family. And that is great. But here's the thing. Yeah, as you know, our Q2 numbers were a little soft. And corporate's really been on me to make sure that our Q3 numbers have a little bit more pizzazz in them. And so we're going to have to do some, you know, restructuring of the human resources and everything. This butter and egg man was talking in code. And I was confused. As confused as a deaf man at a poetry reading. <laughs> and of course, I can trust to say this to you in confidence since we've known each other all these years, buddy. Uh, sure. What can I do for you? You're the boss. Well, here's the thing. I just need you to let me know where we can shed any weight in the company where there's any folks that, you know, aren't needed anymore. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. That sounds like layoffs. Layoffs? What? Bill? No. What? Bill? No. Not layoffs. It's just realizing our priorities and allocating our resources effectively. You know, not layoffs. It's not that bad at all. Oh, I don't think I want to take part in that. Come on, Bill. What about that broad over in the cubicle that has all the Looney Tunes shit on it? <laughs> what? Like, if she spends all her time decorating her desk, how do I know she's not being productive? I mean, what's so skinny on her? The, the brawl? You mean Sheena? No, I know her family. She's a real sweetheart. But does she meet her deadlines? Look, I don't like the way you're talking. You're crossing a line. If you keep this up, I'm gonna have to report you to HR. HR can sleep with the fishes, as far as I'm concerned. They told me to come up with a list. And now I'm asking you, are you gonna help me get the names on this list? Or are you gonna be on the list? It's up to you, Bill. Yeah, I thought you were an old friend. Now I'm the boss, Bill. That's the new deal. <sighs> Questions kept coming up. Kept coming up like bubbles in a case of club soda. I knew I had to look after my flock of birds. The question was, how? So he was an intern while you were an intern here too? Uh, Becky. Oh, when she spoke, she gave me a little thrill. That long, wavy hair. It must have been what it was like when Beethoven, Beethoven was writing Moonlight Sonata. Uh, yeah, I mean, we went to business school together, and then we interned together, uh, but after that, we took two very different paths. Guess the road less traveled was lined with a bunch of asshole trees. Cindy, what? Cindy. She had legs that went on for hours. And she wore a skirt so tight, it was like she was poured in it and didn't know when to say stop. Oh, when she moved, she undulated underneath that skirt, 
made a man forget his turkey sandwich. <laughs> Just 
like a real pirate, Bill. Just one eye. One eye, Bill. Your account executive, one. Oh, this guy thought he was funny. The time for jokes was long over. Oh, it was getting close to fist o'clock. I uh, know, it's just, it's a demotion. It, it wouldn't look right to have you stay here, have you move on with everyone else. You know, right, Virginia Ham's in the right seats. It's numbers, Bill, it's business. It's, you know, I hope you understand. No, I don't understand. My whole career has been built on relationships, not numbers. It's relationships between the company and employees relationships between the vendors and suppliers. If you take away the relationships and make them numbers, you don't have anything. You know what I have, Bill? Numbers. They give me money. And I like money. Money can't buy happiness, but it can buy you a big old boat. It can buy you a drink in one hand, and on the other hand, a, a dame with legs longer than a drawn-out metaphor in a one-act play with a film noir theme. <laughs> Uh, Cindy was right. You're not an old friend. You're nothing but a prick. The months went on. Slowly. Like a sick cockroach. And this guy was tougher than a nipple steak. But meat gets tender under pressure. And he was about to get pressure. Yeah, uh, hey, uh, Dave. Bill. No. Look, we've got a, uh, a client that wants to talk to you. A new client, huh? Yeah, well, look, they want to hire us to uh, be the distributor. We'll do the logistics for their distribution system. That's a basic startup that needs the basic package. <laughs> no, this, uh, this client, uh, they're kind of the biggest one in our portfolio. Send them in. All right. What are you doing here? Cindy? So, good to see you again. Please, allow me to introduce you to our founder, Sheena Westerhall. You might be interested in her story. It's a real American dream story of writ large. You see, Mrs. Westerhall was recently laid off from her job and so started expanding on her Etsy store. She crossed her legs. She knew they were good. <laughs> she leaned forward. She knew they were good too. <laughs> you may not have known because you've never bothered to ask. But Mrs. Westerhall is one of the first female animators to work on Warner Brothers International, particularly on Restoring Looney Tunes and Mary Melody's Reels. Oh my goodness, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> of course, the cartoon studio shut down animation in the late 1970s when Mrs. Westerhall got married and settled into a job at a little company. Oh, which one was it? That's right, <laughs> this one. Becky Vince, Mrs. Westerhall has so much free time on her hands now. She has decided to go full into her artistic endeavors onto her Etsy store. Her hands were hot, real hot. Oh, and Dave was gonna melt like butter under a warm knife. <laughs> With our help, we've been able to transition it to a multi-million dollar marketing merchandise vehicle. It's a real chariot of victory over our competitors. We've hired your firm to help with the logistics and distribution of all of that merchandise with the licensed characters that Mrs. Westerville owns the intellectual property rights for. Oh, it's not that many really, it's just, just bugs and a few others. Mr. Blunt was so kind to our family. Furthermore, we're here to request the return of all of those original prints that you removed from Mrs. Westerhall's cubicle. And failing that, the value of those prints and your immediate resignation. Is that a 
original prints? No, I'm sure you remember. It was just a bunch of cartoon shit. Send me. This can't be happening. This isn't oh, happening. Oh, <laughs> it's happening. Here is a form from our lawyer. And here is the legal request we've made to your HR department, which they have already agreed to act upon. But it's nothing personal, Dave. After all, we just want to make sure that our resources are aligned. Well, they knew alignment. Just like a mechanic at Mr. Auto trying to get employee of the month. With your corporate strategy. After all, we have to make sure that your company can recycle. Recycle with the theory of an environmental student trying to impress another environmental student. It's creative pool. The pool that he's going to be face down on that he wanted so badly. Yes, yes,